Katie, thank you so much for being my model today. I'm so glad to be here. I'm just yes. very excited to try this bridal makeup look on you. Yes. So we're gonna go with very neutral, a little bit of um, shimmery eyeshadows mm. to just bring more light to the face. Um, I'm gonna try to color match your foundation. So I'm gonna get started cleaning your face. I see you almost makeup. You're pretty much makeup free. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna gently make sure that we remove any impurities from the skin. Get ready with me while I tell you about the Online Makeup Academy. So they recently reached out to me about their latest course that they just released, which is the Bridal Makeup and Hairstyling. It's an online, fully online course taught by the same instructors and professionals that work at their physical location in New York. So these are all licensed makeup artists, hairstylists. It's a very complete course. Once you sign up, they send you a kit that includes everything that you need to start your makeup kit and your hairstyling kit. Once you get access, you receive your kit, you can start practicing. I am about halfway through the bridal course and I'm really, really loving it. I've always really loved makeup and I think I'm pretty decent. I'm doing my own makeup, but doing makeup on other people is, it's very different and they teach you a lot about color theory, how to work in a sanitized way, how to work with different people, industry etiquette for makeup artists, hairstylists. They give you so many tips on how to actually start looking for clients, how to build your portfolio, how to market yourself, how to manage your time as a makeup artist. And to be honest, it's a really great way if you're interested in starting a career as a makeup artist or a hairstylist, um, if you would like to get into the bridal industry, or even if you want to just learn how to do it for fun, which that's kind of my case. I really love that once you finish the course, they'll issue a professional certificate, which is great. If you're, start, if you're trying to market yourself as a makeup artist, this is going to be great because it adds to your credentials so you can kickstart your career. Uh, you're eligible for the pro discount card, which a lot of brands, they give discounts on a lot of their products to makeup artists since you're going to be using them in a professional setting. You're eligible to apply for it and get up to 40% discount. The other thing that's pretty amazing is that you get lifetime access to the course. So even once you're done with it, you can still keep on submitting your work and keep getting feedback throughout your career as a makeup artist to keep growing, to keep getting tips. And you you can also message the instructors with any questions you have as you go. So it's a really great resource to have. They are offering a hundred dollar discount if you use my code. I'm gonna write it on the description below, and I'll put it up on the screen here. Just go in, get your discount, and get started. If you're passionate about makeup, if you're passionate about hair, if this is something that you want to pursue professionally or even just for fun, go check out the Online Makeup Academy. Do you have any skin concerns that you're struggling with lately? Um, I guess... Sometimes my skin gets a little shiny if it's okay. under like the light for a long time. But other than that, it's been behaving pretty well. 
Okay. Yeah. Oops. Sorry about that. I'm gonna go ahead and close your eyes. I'm gonna open. I also get puffy circles under my eyes. So. Okay. So we'll try to correct that. See, they're not very discolored. They're just a little puffy. I'm going to go ahead and put some, we'll start with a toner to prep the skin. This is also going to help us get rid of any excess of oil so that the application goes on a little bit smoother. Just You know, it's a little bit more oil on the T zone. Is that where usually mm -hmm. you? Yeah. So I'm going to go very, very light on the moisturizer. I don't want your skin to get oily from the moisturizer. Just making sure that this is sanitized before we start. This moisturizer is also going to serve us as a primer.
and then just close your eyes. Walk towards me. I'm also going to add a pour refining serum. Nice. And go very light on the apple. The wind is going a little bit crazy yeah, today. It's a very windy day. This feels so cool and tingly. <laughs> So now our skin is prepped, so we can get started. Okay. And we're applying a tiny bit of hydrating lip balm, just so that the lips are prepped for lipstick. start with the eye makeup before we move on to the rest of the face. Just going to use this to prime the eyelids. Go ahead and close. Actually, a little black. Over makeup.
Hold on, look. I look down. Okay, I don't think we need much color corrector of the eyelid. So I'm gonna go straight into the eyeshadow look. And for this look, we're gonna be using a lot of neutrals. Okay, just trying to determine your undertone. I really like this palette because it gives us both options. We have some very neutrals in cool and in warmer tones. Just looking at your face, you have more of a red undertone. So I think I'm gonna look this way. Look at me. Okay, yeah, I think we're gonna go more with the cool colors and I'm gonna start with just the lightest color as the base and I close Both are gonna help us set. The eyelid so it doesn't start to crease. I'm going to start building up Let me close Is going slightly darker than your skin tone. Okay, I look towards me. Okay, go ahead and close and keep on building the base color on the eyelid. Just making sure that we blend out. Look towards me. Okay, go ahead and 
open your eyes. Okay, so I see you have like a greenish eye tone, so I think I'm mm -hmm. gonna go with some very light purple Ooh, tones. Like, like a mauve. So we're gonna do something like this. Cool. And then we'll build some shimmer with some silvery lights. Maybe something like this. Or oh. this one. Okay. I love shimmery glitter stuff. Right now we're just focusing on the outer corner of the eyes. We're trying, you can just keep it closed. We're just trying to build up some dimension. The outer. Cut open. You feel that you need a little bit more of color. So I'm gonna start building a little bit darker. Mm -hmm. Mixing two eyeshadows to get the color that I want. Okay, go ahead and open. Okay. Okay. And open. Okay, I like that. No. Make sure we blend this. Tiny, tiny, darker.
pose. Close your eyes. Close. I'm just gonna add a little bit more. be mixing a different shimmery eyeshadows. We'll be adding a bit of shine to the middle and the inner corner of the lid. Okay, I'm going with some pink, some lighter ivory shimmer. I look towards me and close. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit more light here. And keep them closed. Here. Okay, I like that. a little bit of brown
Okay. Just trying to find. I'm going to try to um, lighten up a little bit. Oh, it's oh, towards me. Okay. Yeah, towards me. Okay, close your eyes. Okay, I like that. Okay, so now I'm gonna go with a a bit of eyeliner. Okay. Okay, just look at me. So I'm gonna go pretty light, um, try to go like very, very thin on the eyeliner, okay? Go ahead, you're gonna close your eyes and I'm just gonna lift a tiny bit, but just keep your eye closed. Go ahead and open. Okay, close one more time. Just gonna touch up. Okay, go ahead and open. Fix the wing a little bit. Okay, go ahead and open. Okay, hold on.
Okay. Keep it open. I'm just gonna draw the wing. I'm sorry, close. Smooth out that little wing. Now we are gonna do, actually gonna go ahead with the rest of the face before we put on the mascara, okay. okay so I'm gonna do a little test here. This is way too light for you. Okay. 
and be adding a little bit more color. And we're also adding a little bit of red here. I'm gonna remove that. not too bad. I'm just going to add a tiny bit of more red so we can match your face a little bit better. We are not going to add too much because we don't want to highlight the redness on your face. But we also don't want it to look too different. Okay, I think it's blending really nicely into your skin. I'm going to show it to you in a mirror just to make sure that you like it. So you can see the foundation here. Uh -huh. It's seamless. It doesn't look like I'm wearing it at all, yeah. but it's such a good boost. Yeah, I love so that. it's just going to help us cover. You. I'm actually going to go a very light application. We're just going to blend that in.
and look up. Turn up towards me. I look up. Close, look more towards me. Up towards me. Okay. It's a nice, um, even skin tone. Yes. So now I'm gonna be adding a little bit of corrector under your eyes. Nice. Okay. I'm gonna add a little bit of an orange tone just to correct mm. the darkness under the circles. Under the eyes? Yes. <laughs> under the circle? <laughs> that works too. <laughs> Very light. Open.
Okay. Look up. Okay, I'm gonna go with a bit of lighter concealer. Do want to brighten up a little bit the under eye, but we also don't want to make it too bright and highlight the puffiness. Is that what happens when you make it too bright? Yeah, again, anything that we highlight or make too bright, it's gonna be, it's gonna look as, as it's like closer to us. Oh my gosh. And I've always had that feeling whenever I try to I would buy concealer for my under eye. It'd be a little too light. And I always notice it looks even worse. Yeah. That's why. It's good to know. Go ahead, look up. Sorry. apply a little bit of very light pink blush before we set the foundation. Down a little bit on the nose. Okay. 
contour. Up towards me. Look towards me. So I'm going to be setting with some powder. Go ahead and look up first. So we're going to set the under eye, make sure it doesn't crease. I'll make sure that I sat really well on the T-zone since you do tend to. Thank you. Look up. Okay. 
move towards me. Okay, so we're just gonna fix the eyebrows. This one? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yes. We are gonna do some mascara. Go ahead and close. You usually use eyeliner on the bottom lashes. Um, I have in the past. Lately, I've been kind of going more light on it. Okay. I do I, like it, but, you know, whatever you're thinking. Yeah, I kind of want to leave it um, okay. a bit more on the natural side. Yeah, yeah. So, I'm just going to do the mascara. Okay, so you're going to look kind of like towards the floor.
Okay. Okay, now we're just gonna do a light pink, kind of like a very nude um, lipstick. Nice. Go ahead and smudge a little bit. How does that feel? Good. It feels really good. It feels hydrating too. Okay. Okay. Well, I think we're done. Ooh. I'm gonna show you before I put on some setting spray. Okay. Oh wow. I love it. The eyes look so even, which is great. Um, I really like, you know, that it's definitely for an occasion because of the eyeliner at the top, but the bottom looks so clean. Yeah, I think you look great. Really cool. Thank okay. you. Okay, so I'm okay. just going to go ahead and do a tiny bit of um, blush and yeah. a powder just to mm -hmm. make sure that that stays on longer. And I'll do some setting spray. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Definitely want to make sure that this is going to last you long enough. 